Hello class, this is uh, Professor Tweed here. I'm going to start a new series of videos really looking at some best practices for modeling three-dimensional buildings in SketchUp. Um, and you may notice that my voice is a little different. I'm trying to get over a cold, so I apologize about that, but uh, it might sound uh, like this for the next few videos here. But anyway, um, again, we're going to be looking at SketchUp today, and right now, of course, you guys should know that we have AutoCAD up on screen, and I will be getting to SketchUp in a second. Because um, I really wanted to show you what, what this series of videos is. There's, there's lots of different ways, let's say, of modeling in any 3D model or SketchUp or, or, or anything for that matter. And, and really, this series of videos is specifically for, okay, I've done a bunch of work in, say, AutoCAD. Um, how do I get that into SketchUp to match my AutoCAD work that's already drawn. Of course you can model directly into SketchUp to design. Um, a lot of times you might design in SketchUp, uh, formalize it in AutoCAD, and then need to build a final model that matches that AutoCAD file, and that's sort of what this process is. It's sort of designing and doing other things in SketchUp. might find, follow a different process. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, even though I am using SketchUp, the process that I'm going to show you through this series of videos is really very similar no matter what process you're using. So maybe you want to use Rhino or Form Z or uh, any other one. It's going to be a, the, the, the tips and tricks I'm going to show in these series of videos will really apply well to all of those sorts of software. The one exam uh, exception, of course, is Revit, which is completely different and we'll be looking at a little bit much later on in the semester. Uh, so anyway, that's the introduction. And anyway, if you're following along with my set of projects, what you have is two floor plans of a house in four elevations. You have them on layers and we have them with line weights, which was just for illustrator work <clears throat> that we've already sort of done. Um, uh, uh, so I'm going to start here. The reality is going into SketchUp, I use a whole set of layers that I'll explain when, I'll, when, when we get there that won't really uh, matter on these layers. But here we go. The only reason why I have AutoCAD open is also because um, sometimes uh, SketchUp will open AutoCAD, right, if you have the professional version, um, <clears throat> but sometimes they're out of sync. Sometimes the version of SketchUp doesn't recognize a newer version of uh, AutoCAD because AutoCAD updates its sort of programming every once in a while. Now currently, this is uh, January of 2017, I'm running off of um, AutoCAD 2017, but that's, I think, uh, the current SketchUp will read the current AutoCAD, but that's not always the case. So I really, really, why I have this up is because I want to show, if, if that's a problem, you're going to go to Save As, and you can change this file to, to older file. So you can see that the, the earliest, even though it's AutoCAD 2017, the m earliest uh, programming language is actually from AutoCAD two, 2013, which is why the current uh, SketchUp can read it. But it's possible next year, the following year, they'll change it, and it'll be 2018, and all of a sudden, SketchUp can't open it. So if, you can't, if that runs into the problem, what you do is you do Save As, and then you just save an, as an older file type. right? And that's it. And then you have your file. Um, and you just save it as an AutoCAD file. And <clears throat> um, I'll show you that in a second, uh, how to bring it into to SketchUp. Um, in, in fact, I might even do it in a different follow-up video here. Um, and the other thing is, let's say, I'm going to bring this all in as one, because I'll want all of this information into SketchUp, but let's say you have a lot of things, maybe you're designing, maybe you have some old floor plans, maybe you have some old elevations that you're no longer using inside this file. Instead of just doing a save as, the alternative method to doing it is to save it as a W block. So you can go to in the insert tab, and you can do the create block, and uh, you go to W block is short for write block, create, uh, and that'll make it a separate file. So I can say write block, and then I can select I can hit that select button, just select the files that I want. So in this case, it might be all of this, but maybe I just want the elevation. So I could just select the elevations um, and hit enter. And then down here is where I save it. So I can go, I can save it wherever I want to save it, save my desktop and whatnot. And then I've got the same tab that I, we just saw under the save as command, where if I need to, I can change the, uh, the year of AutoCAD so that SketchUp can open it. Now, I, again, I'm going to bring in this whole thing, so it doesn't really matter, but that's how you would pre prep your AutoCAD to bring into SketchUp should you need to. All right, well, I'll pick up in the next video with actually importing um, into SketchUp, which is super easy, but really setting up this AutoCAD work so you can model from it efficiently, um, and that's a sort of a good trick, so I'll see you then.